fell in love with this river and this project. We can meet the needs of the community. We can actually improve upon meeting the needs of the community. This channel is very active, it's glacial, it's dynamic, it changes every year. That can be a liability and make something like a dam in need of safety improvements and all kinds of maintenance. So taking that infrastructure out of the channel, being able to still meet the water supply demand and provide the city of Bellingham and the local community and residents with that water supply, but removing the environmental impact out of the river and off of fish, that's smarter infrastructure. This is literally built infrastructure, engineered infrastructure and technology that's providing us with more benefits for less impact on the economy and the environment. We can open up 16 miles of new habitat for Chinook and for bull trout and for steelhead. That's going to have a ripple effect, not only to increase fish populations, but then more fish to fish, which improves our economy. It provides livelihood for our, our fisher folks and also provides benefits to the southern resident killer whales. The solution we ultimately ended up at to move the intake structure upstream and, and design a different intake structure that's protective of fish really enables the river to have true ecosystem benefits. So it allows the river to maintain its dynamic nature. And that dynamic nature is what the fish need and it's the power and the beauty of rivers. This combined goal of investing in the environmental side while simultaneously being able to continue to provide that needed water supply. It's a win-win. The citizens of Bellingham don't lose anything for this dam being removed, and the salmon themselves have this chance to come back and win in their way.